I got a good feeling about this. Blackened. Playing with fire. GBB 2020 World League Solo Wildcard. Aren't you intrigued? Yeah, so he's going on the golf tournament, right? He's going to hope to get that uh, gold jacket. Yeah, he's like Shooter play McGavin. Shooter McGavin, right, right. Gold jacket, green jacket, who gives a shit? So this is a recommendation off of one of our beatbox reactions. And what they said about it was like, hmm, might want to check that out. So, get that guy off your screen, man. He's bugging me. No way, I like this guy. I do like that guy, but I don't want my He's Chromebook sitting, to go. He hasn't to... moved, man. It's a it's a Q and A video. Oh. Forgotten Weapons is the channel that I'm watching at the moment. So not watching it, but it's yeah. This is only two minutes and nine seconds long. Not very long at all. But I just noticed as I pulled this up, there was other reactions to it. Kind of weird. I've I'm never had any first. complaints in two minutes and nine seconds. All right, just check this out. My name is Lemme from Tilly. This is my video wildcard for Grand Prix Books Bowl 2020 World League. Damn. I feel like I just watched a Transformers movie. Autobots, roll out. <laughs> is this like this the sounds that they make, ain't it? I'm not going to lie, though. The dude's talented. He's cool. Like, why isn't he in the competitions? I don't know. Maybe, it, uh, well, it it's a solo any, wild right? card. But it didn't pull in. What's that mean? Like, this is his wild card entry. He's going to, he's thrown his, thrown his self oh. in the hat. Oh, yeah. Well, he needs to be there because I think uh, no, we're, we're pretty fresh and new to this scene, so I don't know. But uh, someone said that he, this guy does, like, he adds metal to his... Uh, you can hear scene. that influence because, you know, you had the uh, kind of thing going on. So I think what needs to happen in here is just how Happy Gilmore had uh, Chubbs as his mentor... Maybe this guy needs uh, Michael Winslow. You know? The guy, the man of 10,000 voices from Police Academy. The <laughs> Remember he did the machine gun sound effect? Mm -hmm. And everybody's like, God damn it, stop that! And you're getting pissed at him? So that needs to be his uh, mentor and endorsement and his ticket in. Like he needs a sponsor, and I think that dude should sponsor him. Dude has like a lot of... Uh... He's kind of in between. He has a lot of sounds, but at the same time, he's got a, like a flow to some of his stuff. Yeah, yeah. Which I I found out, you got people that are down with the flow, and people are down with just like crazy, different types of sounds. So they like the jumble, like the freestyle stuff. Some people like, yeah. Some people like one way. Some people like another way. So makes sense. You know. <laughs> All right.
Wolf. Can we take a second to acknowledge how he was keeping that kind of sound going while he was doing like the like how are you making two different sounds at the same time? Dude, that was fucking nuts. I don't know. I I don't know. I uh I think who was the other guy that beat uh D Lo and we were surprised? Was that what was his name? Cuttlefish? Codfish. Codfish. Cuddlefish. Codfish. I think uh, him and him, this dude versus D'Lo would have been a better matchup. Ooh, there I said it. Yeah. That was crazy, man. Um, I, I no disrespect to Codfish, but um, hmm. this guy, as you said, he had more of a of a organized flow, but at the same time, there was definitely that freestyling there at the end, that was almost like a like I would consider that probably the guitar solo part. Yeah, did you hear the drum solo too? The the drum? Yeah. Fuck. Fuck me. Sideways. Damn. Um Yeah, I want to hear more about this guy, but I didn't really see anything. Um Well, we've got some other stuff that we can check out oh, here. So much. That is not the uh not that. Don't look at that. Okay. Anyway, um well would you like to uh do what time is it here? It's almost two o'clock. It's not that. It's not that bad. I, I have a screenshot of a recommendation. Who's a uh, acapella mixed with a beatbox? Really? Yeah. This uh, is the look I had when I was listening to that guy in the this corner here. <laughs> with the bug eyes. He couldn't fucking believe it either. All right, guys. Um, I always dig checking stuff like this out. It's it's just incredible the sounds that people can make. Hmm. All joking aside, that is impressive. One suggestion someone had, don't do compilations. Because it, it ruins the... It ruins it. Like, if you do too much compilation of one guy, you're going to end up hearing a whole bunch of, like, random stuff that... It kills the vibe or something. I don't know. So you have to watch him either, like, one particular take or in a versus video, yeah. in a battle? yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. All right. So there, there's that. Cool. All right, guys. We're going to go. Um, thanks for the recommendation. That was actually a lot cooler than I thought it was going to be. So mm. keep the beatbox recommendations coming. Um, I know people put them down, but I really don't know who these people are. And I can't really, I can't do them all. But, like, tell me why to do a certain like this one i did because someone said you know you gotta check this guy out because he does like has metal yeah to it yeah, and yeah it caught my eye so and 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 be specific if you can um maybe drop the link or if there's a particular date of the of the, the battle make sure you include the date so we know which video to get so we could try to get the right one so thank you for your help with that for sure all right guys uh thank you for the recommendation gotta go